Don't come. <laughs> no, come. It's worth it. I promise. I'm joking, I'm joking. It's really worth it. We come for the really party. <laughs> My number one tip for new varsity students is to get yourself a good pair of noise cancelling headphones. You will not be able to pass your first year without them. Varsity is a noisy place and when it's crazy outside and people are busy having free drinks and getting wild, you need to study, these things are going to be your godsend. Talk to the older guys in your degree. If you can see them on campus or if you meet them through your like reses, mentorship program and that, talk to the guys who've already done their degree. They know what's hard and they they've know it's easy. Through, and they've, they've been through the struggle so they can help you to avoid it a bit. Yeah man, talk to those older O's. O's, they really will help you out. Before your first week of university starts, download the campus map onto your phone and put a shortcut to it on your home screen of your phone. Because the amount of people that wander around the first two weeks of varsity lost walking into the wrong lecture halls is laughable. Don't be one of them. Download the map, put it on your phone, squeeze at it whenever you need to, and then you sort it. Also, you'll notice I'm riding a bike. If you're staying at one of the further residences on the main residence campus, away from campus, get yourself a bike. You can take the bus every single day, but it's much more fun to ride your bike and uh, avoid getting killed by traffic. Yeah. But also, it's a great form of exercise. And as I said earlier, with the healthy eating, it's easy to be unhealthy at varsity when you're sitting inside all day studying and when you're just trying to pass. Um, going for a run or <laughs> going to gym can easily slip your mind. So get yourself a bike, eh? Get out there, be fit. And if you can, try to be part of a group exercise. A sport, like go join one of the tuck sports or go ride your bike or go play football like we do outside. Anything to keep yourself active and uh, sorry, I'm still alive. You don't need me to tell you the health benefits of getting outside. Spending some time in the sun, being with friends and uh, how much good that can do on your, your mental performance, your academic performance and just your <laughs> general enjoyment of life. Next tip is to make friends during the first week of varsity. So during like the first two, three weeks of varsity, everyone's meeting each other and everyone's super keen to be each other's friends because no one knows anyone else. And those friends that you make in the first two weeks can easily lead to be the people that you stick with the entire year and the people that help you with work. There have been countless times when I don't know what's going on and I've just asked my friends and a simple explanation of something that I was finding very difficult from a friend makes all the difference. So while it's easy, make friends in the first two weeks. Don't forget to eat healthily. When you come to Varsity, you start cooking for yourself for the first time and you can eat whatever you want. But I promise you, the first year spread is real and it is harrowing. So make sure you get in all the right nutrients in that. Eat lots of veggies, pasta, I mean, I don't know, I eat, I eat a lot of carbs, some people can't handle carbs. Learn what works for you, maintain a good diet. Because the temptation to eat tuna noodles and like, <laughs> have three Red Bulls a day is very strong some days, but resist the urge, you'll thank yourself later. When you get to university, they don't give you a timetable either. You have to make your own. Unless you're an engineering student, then they make a timetable for you. But regardless of what faculty you're in and what degree you're doing, take your timetable, whenever you have it set up eventually, and put it inside of a calendar app. Make it so that it's easy to read and nice to display. Put in the location of all the venues that your different classes are in, what times they are, and so that you can see it at a glance. Because when you're 10 minutes late for a lecture, and it will happen, and you're screaming towards campus, you need to see at a glance where you're going and what you've got on that day. Also remember that it's never too early to start summarizing and to start studying. This is the humanities building beside me, and they've closed off the top floors for years now because people jumped off of them because they got to the end of the semester and they were failing and things just went really south. And so, even if it's the first week of varsity, it's not too early to make a short summary, to look through your notes again, to have a look at an exam, exam paper, it's never too early to start. You'll thank yourself later, believe me. And even if you do end up writing a supplementary like I am now for mechanics, it's not the end of the world. You've got second chances, sometimes even third chances. And uh, you've got to keep perspective at the end of the day as well. No matter what, it's just a degree. It's not worth your life. And uh, you just got to enjoy it while you can. So try keep perspective as well. It's very, super important. Another practical tip, if you're doing like a maths-based degree or engineering or anything that requires you work with numbers and that, do the homework problems and the tutorial problems. They will make 
such a difference when you come to the exam later or you come to exam studying and you're trying to learn the methods in that for how to do difficult things. If you do the study guide problems and you do the problems that the teachers assign you in class, you don't get homework, but there's problems in the study guide that you can find, there's textbook problems they assign, do those, they're going to help a load later in your degree. One of my tips is actually to draw regularly and to schedule fun. Plan fun, it's important. Because if you don't plan your fun and that, you're just gonna end up sitting on the internet all day and that's not real hardcore fun. You need to go out and enjoy yourself and you need to properly relax so that you can work properly as well. You know, work hard, play hard. Very important, don't fall behind because you'll never catch up. <laughs> I love it. It's true. It's definitely true. Keep on top of your coursework because catching up a whole semester's worth of work in the last two weeks before the exam is nearly impossible. You will die. Do stay up to two o'clock in the morning talking to friends about deep and meaningful issues. University is a time to connect with people and it's a great time when you're staying in res at like three in the morning to walk into someone's room and be like, hey, how are you doing? And then get into a deep discussion about how the universe works and about the future goals and aspirations yeah, for humanity. That doesn't sound familiar at all. <laughs> I've had so many sleepless nights because of it. Tell me, Ryan. Invest in a good pair of slops. Pretoria is hot now. And at a certain point, you can't take off any more layers from like upwards of the <laughs> Without end. being indecent. Yeah. So, slops are the key. Indeed. Indeed. I, wear, I prefer to wear these ginormous like hiking boots that are waterproof. But, uh, yeah. So the turnstiles of varsity can also be quite confusing. And so here is a quick instruction on how to do it properly. So, first you scan at the bottom. Wait for it to flash green. Put your finger till it, till it beeps and clicks. And then you go through. This is the bike entrance. But on the usual ones, you gotta do that carefully and always get into this one that's already in. Don't push forward and then walk through the opening afterwards, else you'll get stuck. And also, while you're at university, participate in weird things. Go out and try things you never thought you'd ever do in your life. This is from the Tux Village Fashion Show. I won the Mr. Personality Award for 2018. So what, man? It's a fashion show. When else in your life are you ever going to participate in something so weird and so strange? My parents are always telling me stories from their own varsity days. And to go out there while you're at university, where there's all the opportunity in the world, and do things that you can tell your kids about one day. But most of all, persevere. This is the Engineering 1 building behind me, and Engineering 2 and 3. And it's only through incredible feats of hard work and effort and dedication and struggling through challenges that incredible things like this get built. And the same thing with your degree. Any degree that you do at university is going to take a lot of effort and is going to be really difficult. But, you know, those general stats about how much more degree people earn and how to set you up easier in life are definitely true. You don't need a university education, but it certainly does help to start out with. And that's it. Those are my 16 tips for coming to university. Some honorable mentions go to sleeping while you can if you're not at university yet. Sleep, you will miss it. Engaging with the lecturers whenever possible because they know their shit. Well, most of them. And keeping in touch with friends and family. Friends from high school and your family, they're gonna miss you, eh? And so, even though you're going on to new and greater things, it's important to remember where you came from. So that's it, if you're coming to university, I wish you all the best of luck. I'm just finishing up my first year now. I cannot wait to sleep after my supplementary test is done. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, good luck.